All right, so we came up here from Spokane to the Lucky Strike Mine, or Mine, yeah, can't talk today. We made a brief stop in town and came up here. Unfortunately, they do close at 4. Of course, they're going to be closed forever after tomorrow, so it's kind of the last day, but there is really interesting material just laying around everywhere in our own campsite. So we're just kind of camped outside the gate. Nice little flat spot. Um, real pretty area. No fires, it's, you know, big fire danger right now. But lots of rhyolite, lots of red rhyolite in the area, which is really pretty neat. So we drove past the John Day Scenic Overlook. We'll definitely have to hit that on the way out. We found out about a really cool betroidal spot, um, a Vinegar Hill area that should be pretty cool. So we're definitely got some more rock counting we got to do down here in, in Oregon in the future. Um... Oregon's beautiful, especially the rural part of it. Road coming up here is a little rough. It is hunting season. We have seen dozens and dozens and dozens of hunters all doing archery. So with a little bit of luck, none of them think I'm a bear snoring in my hammock tonight. Um, me and Garrett came down here to go to the last dig on the, the mine before they close it to the public and uh which is really sad to see things like this close i was talking to her and just sounds like they didn't get enough people up here to really keep her open this is why it's important to go to these guys to pay the fee to dig these places guys it's worth going to and if we don't do it they'll all be gone and then they'll be lost forever it's something that makes me really sad because it was always neat to go to some place that was so unique and so cool that you'd get to do that. Um, I think that's the valley view up there. But uh, yeah, really a neat place. Pretty rough road coming in. Go slow <laughs> if you're coming up here. Lots of beautiful camping spots. Um, normally we'd find a good pull in firing spot, but with fire season and everything else, we're going to err on the side of caution. There was no vegetation there. It was all pretty hard packed. People have been parking in there before. So I just quietly pulled up in the truck and made sure we're good. But, uh, truck ran right, made it all the way up here. Um, about five o'clock. Me and Garrett are up here and just chilling out in the great big old giant sequoia trees. Ponderos pines. And uh, it's really, really pretty up here. There were so many cool camp spots, but we went for this one because mine opens up at 8. And this way, maybe the vehicle driving by will help roust our lazy bones out of bed so we can go dig for the day. We'll be coming back to Spokane. Big shout out to Jared. We did check out your campsite. We just uh, decided we didn't want to drive down to it. <laughs> so, yeah, wonderful place. We're going to enjoy our evening. And uh, really sad to see that the Lucky Strike is closing. But I'm glad I made it here before it closed. Um. You know, I believe Richardson's has closed. I've heard these guys are closing to the public. Not going to be able to get Thunder Eggs and the quantity and quality anymore. Um, unless you've got a, another source. There's still a few good spots to dig them. But getting further and further in between. So you all bought a bunch of RVs out there. And Facebook land this year was the number one purchased item during COVID. Next to home improvements. You guys have the motorhomes and camping trailers that are going to get out here and do this stuff. Be respectful. Don't steal their rocks. But if there's a place that's open that'll let you go do a feed mine, take your family. Go do it, guys. You will make an experience you will never forget. And you do like we do it. You can always chill out in a hammock. All right. Well, this has just been a little rant. Don't know if I'll put this one up. Maybe I'll save it for the winter. But this is The Rock Dad, signing out. By the way, thank you for liking and subscribing. 
And if you haven't liked or subscribed already, hey, like and subscribe. We'll have lots of cool adventures and lots of other cool stuff that we'll do in the future. But uh, hope you enjoy it. Bye.